Hello and welcome again to another screencast edition of Autodesk Maya. Today we will be continue on and uh, modeling the lower extremities. We're going to focus mostly on the feet and hopefully we'll be also beginning to model the hands. Anyways, as we stopped here for uh, modeling this area, uh, we're going to do one more extrusion from the edges over here for the pants. Let's see, let's go to edge mode here. Select your edge, shift click and hold and click on the other edge over here on the other side. Um, control, right click, right mouse click and edge loop utilities to edge loop. So it'll select all edge loops within this area. Once I have that, press E or control E to extrude. Um, this time around, I'm not gonna flip this, well, hmm. I'm going to flip the switch just a little bit right here, pull this in, and I'm going to work with this individually. So I'm going to squeeze this in, edge loop utilities to edge loop, pull this in here just a little bit, same thing here, edge loop utilities to edge loop. Now, most of the, the pants should be more or less um, fitted right here. We'll add more edge loops later on as soon as we get um, the shoes set up. <coughs> now, um, by logic saying we could easily make the shoes here, uh, but I'm going to do a little bit something different to show you a little bit more efficient way. So what we're going to do... Go to edge mode right here. I mean, sorry, not edge mode. Go to object mode. And what we're going to do is, let's see, append a poly, um, polygon tool. We're going to append a poly, which means we're going to create a polygon right here to fill in the hole um, with that is this area. So this area right here. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to select my edge. And it's going to direct me to the direction I need to be. So I'm going to continue on. So sometimes you have to zoom in to see <clears throat> uh, which direction the arrows are facing. And you'll see these little arrows right here. And it's pointing to this way. So be sure to select your edges carefully. And practically zoom in as quick, um, best as possible. Uh, so at least you don't accidentally have anything sticking out uh, from your polygon primitive. I want to leave this open here for now. Uh, we're just, just trying to clear out everything here. Mm, next would be using the multi-cut tool. So of course, I'm going to make my cut right here from one end to the other. Press enter. Go to my vertice right here. Press enter, and there, enter. There we go. Making my other cut right here. If you make a mistake, all you have to do is press backspace to undo your cut. And what we're going to do is leave this here. <coughs> Go to vertex mode. I'm going to actually fix this part. This end right here. I want it to be as rounded and consistent as possible within the areas that I have selected. I know it's not perfect, but I'd rather have this adjusted properly as much as possible, especially with pants. Um, so again, use the vertices here to adjust and refine uh, your object. Let's see. 
Granted, it's not going to be perfect, but sometimes you may have to add triangles on these uh, when you're adding an edge loop. Just this as much as possible. There. Once I have that, I'll go back to my multi cut tool right here. I'm going to make the decision to have that. I'd rather have something that's clean uh, with, without having end gons. <coughs> I'm going to go to face mode. I'm going to use my paint selection tool. I'm going to resize my paint um, brush by pressing the B key, as in um, boy. Left mouse click and drag to decrease the size right here. I'm going to select my only inner circle, because if you remember from the character right here, he's wearing uh, pants that is sort of... Okay, he's wearing pants within uh, this area. So, of course, I want to make like uh, his pants are inside his boots. So once we have that, here we go. I'm going to press Control E to extrude, flip the switch, pull down here. Let's see. Let's give enough. Width. Here may have to adjust on the outside, outer, outer side right here. Here, make multiple selections so to make sure this is well evened out. I'm going to go back to my paint selection again. I'm going to paint select the bottom part like this. If you make a mistake, all you have to do is press the control key to sort of make it a minus and sort of subtract the brush that you have selected. So once you have that, make sure everything's in place. Control E to extrude. Okay. Do it again by pressing the G key. Widen this out here. G. Again. There. So I'm going to go to my edge right here and adjust this part so it's not. Uh, over over set to the connections there we go <coughs> oops so I just want to make sure my pant legs look right okay good 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 you may have to adjust this part again
go. Okay. Once I have that, I am going to use the sculpt geometry just to sculpt it out nicely here. Resize the brush. Round it off. I know it's not perfect, but sometimes you have to start off somewhere. Good enough. Okay. Need selection here. There. I'm going to use my scale tool just to straighten this out. Sometimes you just have to do that. There we go. Okay. Object mode. Go back to my last selection here. Instead, I'm going to pull this out on this point. Alrighty then. Good. So we've got the heel. So I'm going to go to face, paint selection. I want to select. set of faces within this area here to make the outer part of the foot mm hmm and right here there perfect now control E to extrude scale in just a little bit oops Be sure to deselect um, any of the painted selections that you had previously so this doesn't happen. Uh, but here we go. Try this again. Here we go. Pull this down. G to extrude. Flip the switch. Okay. I'm scale inwards just to sort of flatten that part right here. There we go. G again. G and scale inwards. Just like that. All right. One more time, just for a little bit of depth. Right there. Perfect. So once you have that sculpted using the sculpt geometry tool, make sure it's relaxed in this area. Especially if it's a boot that he's wearing, like that. Okay, there we go. Well, you may have to adjust a few vertices here and there, but no problem that you could fix. There we go. Perfect. Now, that pretty much concludes um, part one of this, of making the shoe. Uh, we'll continue on to the next screencast tutorial. Thank you.